welcome to the slimming strategy and in this video I'm going to be talking about my plan so if you ever are confused about my plan in phase one this is the video to go to I've already done a blog post on this so you're welcome to go read it if you want to sort of um, keep it as a reference um, it's just called my plan phase one but um, like I said in my uh, blog post this is what I'm doing and having done a lot of research it's the simplest plan I thought of for my body and for my liking, for my preference, etc. This is not going to work for everyone and I don't even know whether it's going to work for me but uh, using my common sense I think it probably will um, and we will, sh we shall see really. If you're unhappy or if you're like uh, don't agree with anything that I am doing I don't really mind you saying but um, let's just keep it uh, low-key in terms of you know being strongly opinionated because everyone's diet is different and I don't feel like I'm doing anything in particular that you won't agree with so we'll see how it goes we'll talk about food first because I think a lot of people are interested about food um, I plan on a regular day like today wasn't a regular day um, to have five meals a day um, that's five that's three main meals and two meal two snacks um, I consume I should be consuming for my height and my weight and my age uh, 1200 calories considering that I don't actually do any exercise 1200 calories I'll up it to 1000 like five well 1000 maybe 300 400 if I do exercise um, I haven't done any exercise today by the way because I'm putting on my pedometer to see how much I actually do walk and I tell you the results are actually shocking but I will go on about that another time so it's 1200 calories a day uh, which you know really isn't much if you think about you know one meal at KFC can get you a thousand odd calories um, it's disgusting honestly so it's not gonna be a lot I will talk about what kind of foods I'm gonna eat as well this is the guideline if I do this according to my research I should be losing about a pound 1.2 pounds a week I think it will fluctuate but that's the average per week which is good it's a healthy weight loss um, and you know maybe like in a year's time I might you know be almost there breakfast uh, I think I had it at 200 calories um, you know if I wake up and I've had enough sleep I'm generally not that hungry I'm okay with drinking lots of water um, and then having my 200 K breakfast and then you know setting off my day I feel like the more I eat at breakfast the more I eat throughout the day because um, the bigger my breakfasts are the higher sugar sugar content they'll they'll have and usually breakfast consists of something like cereal or like basically carby things and inevitably it's gonna have some sugar and it kind of brings me down so um, breakfast my guidelines are lots of protein vegetables um, some fruit uh, water and if I'm gonna eat any carbs it's gonna be whole grain um, low sugar low salt with a vitamin supplement that's it that's a 200 uh, so like for example um, an egg white omelet with plenty of vegetables but I'm gonna try and up the vegetable and protein intake and have less carbs in the morning because I just think that I only need to kind of rejuvenate my body and I think my proper um, energy intake will have to come during lunchtime. My snacks are about a hundred cow, yeah, a hundred cow. So a hundred cow is like you know something like something like a large apple or a medium banana or something along the lines of that. Um, I'll tell you how snacks go because I struggle with snacks. When I want a snack, I want to eat cake. So um, we'll have to find something. I like I like fruits and vegetables a lot. I have a uh, a passion for celery but to be honest when you're hungry you can't think oh I'm gonna I'm gonna choose the cake over celery so that's what I'm gonna be doing as long as I keep on focus I can do this it will be things like celery carrots um, apples lunch I think I put down lunch as a 400 cal uh, I didn't particularly have a good day today because um, I kind of woke up late so I had to like mush things together but a planned lunch should be about 400 calories and that's going to be plenty of whole grain, well not plenty, but whole grain, protein, vegetables, lots of water and I'm going to try and keep it as sugar free as possible besides the carbohydrates and the vegetables because if I add anything else sugary on top the slump for dinner is going to be humongous and I find that I really like to eat at dinner time because I feel like that you know for as long as I can remember dinner has always been a scheduled time you know lunch and breakfast hit and miss 
can kind of be all over the place but dinner was always smack bang and I kind of feel like if I'm gonna have dinner I want it proper and then when you have that kind of mentality you eat loads and then it's another snack again we've already talked about snacks dinner guidelines is mainly you know like I eat a lot of vegetables for dinner a lot a lot and I, and I don't really do that many carbs and it's quite difficult at the moment because obviously like I said with the current diet or the previous diet or no the previous previous lifestyle I would get a slump I just used to slump around all day to be honest but I would crave lots and lots of rice and you know Chinese people we eat a lot of rice um in a minute I'm making turkey and vegetables and rice for everyone else but I'm just going to do turkey and vegetables and it will be like 100 grams of meat that's all you really need especially considering I'm not doing any particular exercise at the moment 100 grams is pretty much all you really need and um, lots of vegetables and uh, yeah I'm drinking a lot of water and the guideline for that is I drink two liters a day oh where's my bottle so this is my bottle and uh, in here it's approximately 500 mils so I all I have to do is fill it up four times a day drink it all and I'll have my two liters and I kind of sip throughout the day but I tend to drink a lot more uh, kind of before and after dinner and I'll explain to you the kind of how I've ended up doing that but um, especially after after meals after I wait a little while I tend to gulp down tons of water because I'll start to want to eat again and I think dinner guidelines in terms of calories was another 400 but that's including dessert if I want it and I I love dessert you know I don't always have to have it if my meal was like fulfilling enough but you know when I've been on plenty of diets and I know that if I have a small dinner I kind of really want a dessert so it's going to be something like you know like you can have apples sugar free um, ice lollies um, low calorie ice creams like you know you can get skinny cow skinny cow is really really good my other aim for this kind of new lifestyle is to try and sleep more really I mean I had the most awful dream yesterday and I think you know erratic erratic kind of sleeping patterns really screw me up and I, like I said if I don't sleep enough I wake up hungry and it has been tested that those who do not sleep enough tend to be overweight and that's me I, I don't sleep properly and I, I sleep about five wake up at ten whole day goes on like that um, so from now on I'm gonna try and sleep decent hours which will be hard for me I know I'll probably lay there in my bed for a long long time but it's all for the good I need to rest my body wake up early as opposed to 12 in the afternoon and then really screw up my my food um now everyone's gonna want to know about exercise exercise i am still fairly unsure i know that it's recommended by the government that or all health specialist if you may uh it's 30 minutes a day five days a week and i i, I think that is relatively doable i didn't do an exercise today because i figured this would be one of my days off and the reason being is because I really feel like it's not the exercise. I mean, it is the exercise that I need to sort out. But if I don't sort out the food in my head, it I don't really feel like I could handle too much drastic change. So I've got on my pedometer today. What I'm using is actually a Weight Watchers Points Pedometer Plus. Reason being why I bought this is because it was on sale. At the time, I was on Weight Watchers, so it kind of really helps. I still haven't really worked out how to use this because I'm slightly... Uh, I'm not technophobic, I'm just like techno dumb. I'm not amazing at using things like this, but it's been serving me well. <laughs> um, the amount of steps I do is atrocious, but we'll do a, a pedometer video another time. But yeah, I've been using that, and I, I don't know how it's going to go because I wear a lot of dresses, and I'm thinking, how am I going to clip that onto my dress? But according to this one, you can actually put this in your pocket. So as long as I have a pocket, or maybe like my handbag, we'll see how that goes, but it's not going to be very, very accurate. I figured because I'm not amazing at exercising, in fact it's almost non-existent in my life and it's not only did I realise today how little exercise I did um, that I thought that what I'll do is I'll start moving. The first, the only thing that I want to do for myself is move because I don't. I sit here like a moulding vegetable and do nothing with my body. Um, I assume, not I assume, I know my heart is very unhealthy so what I'm going to do I think now whilst I'll take advantage of the late sunny evenings that we get is to walk and um, I'll give it a go tonight if I can't do it and I promise I'll do it tomorrow but I'm really gonna try um, is to walk more and uh, we'll see how that goes because eventually I would like to see myself as a runner I can't imagine it to be honest I, I honestly can't even you know I can't even think of myself in trainers sometimes but 
I would eventually like to become someone who could do something like that or something of the equivalent anyway um, I, can't, I don't have the money to join the gym to be honest I waste it at the gym so until I until I can prove to myself that I can actually get off my ass and do something I'm not gonna join the gym again so that's kind of not in not not really structured plan I can't really tell you how it's going in phase one especially this video but I'm going to be updating you if you look on my blog right now um, I'll flip you over if you can see this is my blog this is the slimming strategy um, I'll, I'll zoom you in this is my plan etc now the way I've done it is that it's not only gorgeous I love I love vegetables but you see there's um, this tab here it's called quick progress timeline and what I'm gonna be doing is if you don't watch my videos but you really want to keep up with me you can not only subscribe via blog loving or just follow me here you can go to quick progress timeline and here I've written my stats so this is start date and you will find you know this will be updated I'm gonna see what I'll do I'll try and update once a month so this time next month I'll update and I weigh myself once a week by the way and I, I weigh myself so uh, let's do the stats quickly shall we this is start date 23rd of August 2010 my weight is 12 stone 8.6 pounds which is atrocious honestly it really is um, my mum measured me my hips is 42 are 42 inches I mean 42 inches guys um, arm width 15.5 inches I have hefty arms thigh width is 26 inches my BMI currently is 33.25 oh excuse me that's supposed to say KM uh, I don't know oh, no, it's supposed to say KG excuse me I don't even know why what that means but I know it's 33.25 exercise ability poor slash um, sedentary no, nothing at the moment average hours of sleep per night is um, 7 you know which is not too bad but that's going on the basis that it's very um, erratic and inconsistent so um, everything needs improvement uh, as the time goes by I hope I can highlight these stats in amber color and eventually when I get to my goal they will start to turn slightly green that's how I'm gonna do it